43 potential jurors were dismissed today, a dozen of them because they had made up their minds after all the publicity. Opening arguments are scheduled for next Wednesday. Only on CBS2, amid the measles outbreak, a famous family's experience with the illness and its devastation, Raul Dahl wrote children's books like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and James and the Giant Peach. He lost his daughter to the measles in the 60s. CBS2's Erica Nachman shows us a letter he wrote urging parents to vaccinate their children. There's Olivia here. Lucy Dahl remembers her older sister Olivia as if they knew each other. She was a bright light. But the memories of her are all from stories. It's so beautiful. Because the pictures stop when Olivia was seven. She died in 1962 from complications of the measles before a vaccine existed and before Lucy was born. When she died, that, that light just disappeared and, and our family home was really dark for a long time. Their mother was actress Patricia Neal. Their father, Ruald Dahl, was known as one of the greatest storytellers of the 20th century. He wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and dedicated his books, James and the Giant Peach and the BFG, to Olivia. In 1988, more than two decades after his daughter's death, Ruald Dahl also wrote a letter to the public, calling it almost a crime that some parents don't get their children immunized. Do you agree with that? I do agree with that. I, I think that it is a crime. When he heard that, in fact, parents were choosing not to, he couldn't understand it. Because he didn't have that choice. No, he didn't have that choice, and he, his daughter died from it. So what would he say now during another outbreak? He wasn't subtle with his words, so if I were to really quote what he was going to say, I'm not going to. <laughs> For Lucy's family, that vaccine against the measles is better than any golden ticket a child might receive. If you love your child, immunize your child. Please immunize your child. Erica Nochlin, CBS2 News. You can sound off on the vaccine issue on our website, cbsla.com.